Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, led by Samir Nas on the occasion of forming the new board. His Majesty highlighted the important role played by the Chamber in serving the commercial and industrial sectors, as well as enhancing the economic and investment status of the Kingdom on the regional and international levels. He congratulated the members of the board for assuming the new position and wished them success in serving the Kingdom and achieving further developments. He praised the success of the BCCI elections and expressed thanks and appreciation for its role in supporting the forward march of the Kingdom. He expressed pride in the new board who assumed the responsibility of serving this important sector and developing it. His Majesty also expressed appreciation to the private sector as it is considered an important part of the development process in addition to implementing the directors of the Kingdom in diversifying sources of income, attracting investment opportunities and making further accomplishments for the Kingdom and its people. His Majesty affirmed his keenness to support the Chamber in order for it to enhance the leading role in strengthening the Bahraini economy. For his part, Nas expressed thanks and appreciation for meeting His Majesty the King, which reflects His Majesty's continuous support to the Chamber. He affirmed to implement all of the directives of His Majesty the King to support the economic and development march, maintain the security and stability of the Kingdom and achieve further progress and prosperity for the country and its people. He praised the efforts of His Majesty the King and his support towards the commercial, industrial and investment sectors and his role in providing full support to the private sector to assign it as an active and contributing partner for the forward march of Bahrain. He wished His Majesty the King's success and abundant health and for Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Freer Palace members of the National Institution for Human Rights, led by Maria Khoury, who presented the annual report to His Majesty the King. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's firm approach to maintain human rights and support all efforts aiming to preserve those rights according to international laws and standards. He added that the human rights are an important part of the Bahraini identity, which reflects the country's Islamic values, coexistence and pluralism. His Majesty praised the contents of the report and praised the achievements made by the institution on the local and international levels. He pointed out its positive role in cooperation and coordinating with international organisations to work on protecting human rights. His Majesty affirmed that the Bahraini society witnesses a continuous development in all fields and is always keen on enhancing the performance level and provides a high living standard for the people. He expressed pride in the reputation of the Kingdom perceived by the worldwide countries and sees Bahrain as a country of tolerance and coexistence. He praised the Bahrainis working in the human rights field and their efforts in defending national issues and interests, in addition to their efforts in showcasing the achievements and gains of the Kingdom on the international level. He wished the NIHR President further success in assuming this national responsibility. He also praised the role of the institution and the task and responsibilities it assumes that aim to spread awareness regarding human rights and their values and ensure the implementation of these tasks. His Majesty then wished them success in performing their national duty. An IHR President then handed His Majesty the report. His Majesty directed them to continue their efforts in protecting human rights and enhance it according to the aspiration of the Kingdom and its people. NIHR President affirmed that Bahrain is continuing its approach to safeguarding human rights and supporting all that should respect these rights. She added that His Majesty the King continues to be the first sponsor of human rights and the foundation of freedom of opinion and expression, and that these rights would not have been possible without his continuous follow-ups of His Majesty the King. 
She renewed commitment to continue working in a framework of transparency and clarity and to proceed under the directives of His Majesty to preserve the gains of human rights and civilizational achievements and to consolidate these gains to promote respect for human rights and values of tolerance between citizens and residents. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today issued Edict 10 of 2018. Under the Edict, Ahmed Khalil Ibrahim Khari was appointed as Miners Affairs Director, Neef Khalifa and Ibrahim Al Dawadi as Courts Director, and Azem Hassan Bouhamoud as Executive Director of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. The Prime Minister also issued Edict 11 of 2018 transferring the head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission to Kuwait to the Foreign Affairs Ministry's General Court. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qadabiya Palace today the South Korean Minister of Health and Welfare, Park Nyong Ho. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister underlined the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to develop and strengthen cooperation with Korea in various fields, including cooperation in the field of health and medical care, pointing out the government's support to improve relations and cooperation between the two countries, especially in political, economic and investment fields. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the regional and global developments require closer cooperation in various aspects and benefit from the experiences of the two countries in health and social welfare. He pointed to the government's interest in developing health services and to access international experiences to reach the highest levels of quality in this regard. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the government, in the context of its programmes and initiatives aimed at improving the quality of health services, is seeking to benefit from the experience of countries, including Korea, in the health information and insurance technology. His Royal Highness noted the reputation and role played by Korean companies in the field of health information technology, stressing that there are many broad areas that can be introduced into bilateral cooperation between the two countries. During the meeting, they reviewed the friendly relations between the two countries, where His Royal Highness stressed the interest of the Kingdom of Bahrain to improve the prospects of cooperation and coordination with Korea in various fields. The Korean Minister of Health and Welfare noted the progress of Bahrain in the health and therapeutic fields and the quality of the achievements that reflect the success of the government's policies and programmes under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in his health strategy. He expressed his country's readiness to cooperate with Bahrain in various domains. Under the patronage of the Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Guards Day celebrations commenced today, where a number of sports activities were organised in the presence of the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. These sports activities included an aquathlon race, crossfit competitions, volleyball and football matches, swimming competitions, a tug of war and cross country running, as well as a relay race. At the end of the events, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser honoured the winners, the ceremony organising committees and the participants in the events. His Highness congratulated the winners, wishing the other participants good luck in upcoming events. His Highness affirmed that the large participation in the event came to confirm the success and to achieve the event's noble goals, noting that the championships aim to create an atmosphere of pleasure and enthusiasm among participants. He hailed the organising procedures of the events, affirming the competition's positive impact on the Royal Guard affiliates.
His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain's Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended today the concluding ceremony of His Highness's Universities League that was held in Sofitel Zalik. The ceremony was attended by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr Hisham Mohammed al Jarda, in addition to a number of invitees and officials from the sports sector in the Kingdom, as well as representatives from the organising committees, the winning teams and the 15 participating universities. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his pleasure in the success of the first edition of His Highness's Universities League that was organised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and reflected the outstanding efforts exerted by the team that worked as one according to the directives, messages and aspirations of His Highness that are based on supporting the Bahraini University students and encouraging them to live a healthy life besides education. His Highness also said that the League encouraged the university students to unleash their athletic abilities and compete and revealed their potentials. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the launch of the League reflected His Highness's plans to bolster sports universities as it is a starting point to the establishment of a sports union. Concerned with sports universities, they aim to su supporting talents and helping them to be able to represent the nation in various sports related to universities at the Arab and international levels in the coming period. His Highness gave directives to hold the event annually. His Highness meanwhile lauded the great role played by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs under the chairmanship of Mr Hisham Mohammed al Jaida in the implementation of the plans and programmes aimed at upgrading the youth and sports movements in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputised the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the 18th Bahrain International Book Fair, organised by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, as part of the Cultural Events Programme in Maharik. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa was received by the President of BACA, Sheikh Amay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials in the Kingdom. The Deputy Prime Minister conveyed the greetings and wishes of success of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the organisers and participants in the fair. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa affirmed that the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, is keen on supporting various cultural movements. He noted the importance of book fairs and specialised cultural exhibitions in increasing the intellectual openness of Bahrain and achieving cultural exchange between creators and thinkers from various world countries. The Deputy Prime Minister toured the fair, where he viewed the various publishing houses' vendors, expressing admiration for the first level of organisation. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa viewed the Saudi section, where he was received by the head of the Saudi participating delegation, Dr Issam bin Saad bin Said, healing the Saudi-Bahraini relations and the fraternal ties between the two countries' leaders and people. He also commended the cultural and intellectual productions of Saudi Arabia. The Deputy Prime Minister asserted that the book fair had achieved many successes since its launch, which established its status on the regional and international cultural exhibitions agenda, evidenced by the large number of participants and visitors. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed thanks to Sheikh Amay and all BACA's employees for their efforts in organising the fair. For her part, Sheikh Amay expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support to the cultural movement in the Kingdom and Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa for his patronisation.
Back for its 18th edition, the Bahrain International Book Fair aims to encourage readers at all levels, interests and ages to experience the joy of reading. The book fair is considered as a quantum leap on the cultural scene and continues to allure and attract thousands of visitors interested in the diversity of the fair. As everyone knows, we're celebrating Muharraq as capital of Islamic culture this year. Um, having our uh, international book fair in this historic site has a huge significance for us. Um, we're delighted that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is the guest of honor this year. And, you know, of course, it's the pillar of Islam. Uh, it's, uh, it's a country close to our hearts, to our tradition, uh, to, our, to us as Bahrainis. So we're delighted to have their participation with us. The book fair features many cultural events and has gained a good reputation internationally throughout the years, in harmony with the atmospheres of openness and freedom established in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad ibn Isa al Khalifa. Of course, the book fair is an exciting event. 400 publishing houses, all under the same roof. Um, this is celebrating authors and books, and uh, and this transfer of knowledge between so many um, so many uh, uh, minds to us here in Bahrain. Um, of course, the uh, the book fair has an extensive cultural agenda that uh, that is parallel to the event itself. So I would like to invite all our viewers and all our um, all our community to come and join and celebrate this event with us. The expo encourages multitudes of visitors to discover the universal value of books and publications presented by 400 Arab and international publishing houses. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shog Mohammed. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, announced the first ever solar home in Bahrain, which is connected to the governmental electricity network through a net metering system. The system was approved by the Council of Ministers, headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in January, after it was earlier passed by the Coordinating Committee under the Chairmanship of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The solar home belongs to Hussein Sanada of Jidhafs and it was unveiled in the presence of the officials of the Ministry of Oil, the Ministry of Housing, Tatweer Petroleum, the Electricity and Water Authority, the EWA, the Sustainable Energy Unit and the Project Contractor. Dr Mirza said experts and specialists from the Sustainable Energy Unit are willing to assist individuals and institutions who wish to install such systems. He said the cost of power produced in this way is much lower than conventional energy. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the second edition of the two-day Gulf Safety Forum at the Crown Plaza Conference and Exhibition Centre. The conference was attended by distinguished international experts and suppliers of safety tools and technologies, which will help industrial enterprises achieve these goals in the GCC and the Middle East. The Minister expressed deep thanks and appreciation to the government and its keenness to provide the highest level of support to the National Oil and Gas Authority, NUGA, and its great efforts in attracting regional and international events that contribute to strengthening the national economy and supporting sustainable development in Bahrain. The Minister also welcomed the guests, wishing them a good stay in Bahrain. During the opening ceremony, the Minister announced the Safety Excellent Award for Bahrain Aluminium Company, ALBA, which proved the best safety achievement in the past two years, which has created innovative ways to permanently improve the safety and health of its employees, the environment and productivity. Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa handed the Award of Excellence in Safety at the level of the GCC countries to ALBA, which was received by Deputy Chief Executive Officer Ali Al-Bakali. It's widely recognized that organizations must develop their technical safety journey focusing on their plant, safety, reliability and human interfaces in order to achieve the target of no surprises and zero accidents. A focus on safety is the number one priority for companies with operators, manufacturers, suppliers and consultants developing innovative and effective solutions in these areas. For this reason, the National Oil and Gas Authority have held a second Gulf Safety Forum which provides all participants with an opportunity to discuss the occupational safety standards and health legislations. Today the focus was more, mainly on safety. Operational safety is a top priority, making sure that employees are safe and their operations assets are safe uh, and eventually uh, 
and the targets are achieved. Uh, this is the well-being of a corporation in general, and the oil and gas sector, of course, is uh, a very delicate operation that requires high diligence and operational excellence, using technology, using training, using uh, clear targets and benchmarks. All of these are topics of the concept of operational excellence. The Minister of Oil awarded ALBA with the Safety Excellence Award, which celebrates companies that have found innovative ways of making lasting improvements to the safety and health of their workers, the environment and productivity. By sharing their examples and recognizing their achievements, the Minister hopes to drive change and promote the best practices in safety. We are very ap appreciated for this and thankful for getting the first award of the Gulf Safety Forum. This it will uh, post the morale of all ALBA employees and encourage all ALBA employees to do more than in safety. We, the, the best uh, uh, award, we are uh, getting it because for the last five years, we improve our safety performance. We managed uh, to, to, to go to the next level in safety and this will uh, definitely will add the value for the new project of ALBA Line 6 expansions. The two-day Gulf Safety Forum brings together international and local key industry experts from across the region to discuss strategies for continuous improvement of safety procedures and processes, as well as share successful case studies and roadmaps. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. The Minister of Health, Faik Saleh, signed a memorandum of understanding with the Minister of Health and Welfare of the Republic of South Korea, Park Nyong ho in the presence of the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the CEO of the National Organization for Occupational and Health Services, Dr. Mariam Al Jalameh, along with senior officials. The MOU is signed between the two sides in the field of healthcare and medical sciences. During the signing ceremony, the two parties agreed to promote and develop cooperation in the field of healthcare and medical sciences to benefit both countries in the development of health services. Bahrain's parliamentary delegation is on an official visit to Russia upon the invitation from the Duma. The first deputy of the Representatives Council Speaker, Ali al Rada, asserted the strong Bahraini-Russian ties that are a result of outstanding relations between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Ali al Rada pointed out that the mutual interests between the Kingdom and the Russian Federation include all fields of cooperation, mainly industry, finance, tourism, culture and military. He also noted that this cooperation led to a vast number of agreements signed between the two sides. The members of the Bahraini Parliamentary Division participated in the concluding session of the 138th Union Assembly of the International Parliament. The session discussed a number of Union specialised meeting reports and the implementation of the Union strategy for the years 2017 to 2021 that aims to create a solid and democratic parliament and enhance the protection of human rights, support the youth, as well as grant women their rights. The Assembly concluded its work by adopting the decisions of the Committee on Peace and International Security and the Committee on Sustainable Development, Economy and Trade. In accordance with the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to develop urgent solutions to increase the flow of traffic on the main roads in the Kingdom, the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning started implementing four projects in Maharak to ease traffic congestion at some intersections. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Ahmed Al Kayat, expressed his sincere gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier's directives to develop urgent solutions to ease the congestion and increase the flow of the traffic on the main road network in the Kingdom. He said that these projects are part of a plan for the major strategic road network projects. He said the expansion of the intersection of Airport Road and Sheikh Salman Street serves the people of the region and meets the needs to reach the intersection of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Bridge and Maharak Northern Health Centre. He said the project will increase the capacity of Sheikh Salman Street by 75%. This will improve the efficiency of the intersection and reduce waiting time at intersection with Airport Road by 25%. He said the addition of a right lane at the junction of the dry dock, Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Street, comes to create a more streamlined flow towards Manama through the Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Causeway 
and the liberation of the huge traffic coming from Maharak towards the capital. According to the Ministry, the project includes constructing an additional 1.2 kilometre long route for those coming from the north, from the intersection of Hatham Altai Street to Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Causeway. He said the capacity of the dry dock road is expected to increase by more than 22%, with an average of 2,000 vehicles per hour, and that after the completion of the expansion, the waiting time at the intersection will be reduced by 33%. Akhayat said that an additional uh, to entrance to Sheikh Isa bin Salman Causeway at Al Busatin will ease the traffic pressure on the driving road. The Civil Aviation Affairs of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications filed a complaint with the International Civil Aviation Organisation after two Qatari fighter jets flew at an altitude of 30,000 feet above the international waters within Bahrain Flight Information Region without any prior authorisation. The two fighter jets flew under a UAE private A320 plane with identical sign of A6HMS en route from Fujaira to Rome prompting Bahrain's air surveillance to intervene and take the necessary measures to ensure aviation safety. The United Arab Emirates aircraft then flew at a higher altitude of 35,000 feet to avoid the Qatari fighters, who have repeatedly violated international agreements and jeopardised civil aviation traffic in the region. This irresponsible behaviour of the Qatari fighter planes is the second towards the UAE plane on the same day. <laughs>